Filipino cucina. Today we're going to be making zeppelin. This is a dish that we traditionally cook on Christmas Eve. And that's all we do on Christmas Eve. That's all they want. There's never enough. So we actually make quite a lot of them, like six kilos. But tonight we're going to be making only two. We're going to need two kilos of flour, 250 grams of anchovies or thereabouts, some salt, and this is the uh, fresh yeast. I like using this one here. You buy this at any deli and you can use the dry yeast if you're used to it and just follow those instructions. Now, the first thing we do is we have to dissolve the yeast. So I'm going to put it into some lukewarm water. Whenever you're using yeast, you're always using lukewarm water. You never use cold water, otherwise it'll stunt its growth. So I'm using two packets of the flour. So I'm going to put two good pinches of salt. So about that much. I can't measure unless I use my hands. Just dissolve everything together, which won't take long. You can feel it in your hands and it's getting smaller. You can see nearly there. I'm going to put the flour into the bowl. I'm going to leave a little bit of flour in the packet because it's easier to add the flour than adding water to the mixture. So we'll make a well in the centre and we put the yeast with the salt mixture. Now this mixture's got to be quite soft. Now this is already one and a half litres of water in here and I can feel that's not enough. So I'm going to put one more litre slowly. It's easier to add it now. This mixture is going to be quite different to a bread dough. It's easier to add a bit of flour if it's too soft rather than add more liquid. Just try and get all the lumps out. Just squeeze it in your hands and just keep mixing, adding the dry ones in. This is gonna be worked now. So we have to go. I wish they had a machine. <laughs> you can't use a machine. We have tried the machine and it didn't turn out. So unfortunately, we have to do it by hand. So this is how we get the mixture beautifully soft and silky. When it's done, you can see the texture. It is so beautiful. Now you need to beat it quite a lot to get the beautiful texture. Now, if you're, I find it easier on the chair. If you're a shorty like me and the table is too high, you can do the same. It feels still very gooey but I can still feel some lumps, so all the lumps have got to go. So we need to mix it a bit more. You want to get the lumps out because nobody likes lumps. <laughs> they don't taste good. When you're tasting a bit of hard dough, it's not nice. So it's just for the lovely even cooking, it's got to be very smooth. Now you, you know when it's ready. When see it's forming little bubbles, and it's very smooth and it feel, it'll feel, you'll know when it feels right. But the more you beat it, the better. So there's no over beating it, it's not like cream. But this is the consistency you're looking for. Very silky and very smooth. Now all we need to do is let this rise, but we never know how far it's gonna rise. So I always like to split my, uh, my mixture and put it into two dishes because it may overflow and you don't want that. Mm, here we go. Our dough is ready. You know when it's ready when you see all these beautiful little bubbles in there. Now all we need now is the anchovies. We've got the vegetable oil here cooking away. And the helper. This is my sister Ange. Hi. And I can't be turning them and making them at the same time. You'll see what I mean in a minute. We just smear your hands with olive oil and you pick up a little bit of the dough like so you put your anchovy there and then you try and twist it takes a little getting used to it and just drop it in the oil okay. 
And I'm not into curry. You know, when it's half ready when it comes to the surface, and then we need to have it nicely brown all, on all sides. If you don't like anchovies, you can put raisins in it, but they will come out. We have tried with salmon, and you can also do them plain. And then you roll them up in cinnamon. Cinnamon and sugar. Yeah. Now, I guess you can call these Italian savoury donuts. So when they're half ready, they float to the surface and then uh, you have to turn them and make sure that they go nice and golden on all sides and then cut them off and try them. When you're cooking with oil, in very high volume, in very high heat, you make sure you don't have a small pot because if you have a little bit of a spillage, that's when you're gonna get a, a fire. So make sure that the flame is always tucked underneath so you always use a wider pot. Okay, what do you think, Ange? Oh, they're perfect. Yeah? Beautiful. Oh, better call them to start eating because these are only nice when they're eaten hot. hot. Bye. <laughs> They don't like them when they're cold. And that's how easy it is to make them. So once they're out of the pot, they're ready to eat. And there you have it. Pita Cucina Zepoli.